So today we're taking a look at the Everlast Smart Notebook by Rocketbook. Of course this video is sponsored by Rocketbook and they've sent me the notebook to review for you guys. As you may have guessed by the name, this is a notebook that should last forever. Well not forever, but a considerably long time. It's a notebook with an app that allows you to easily digitally store your notes anywhere you like or even have them emailed. The pages are made of a synthetic polyester blend to create pages that can be wiped clean and they recommend leaving your ink for 15 seconds to dry to prevent any smudging. Now it doesn't feel like writing on real paper as it is a little bit smoother but because of this the pen actually glides much better on the surface so it will depend on your preference here if you like it or if you prefer the friction of paper. Personally I found this very comfortable to write on and apologies for my poor handwriting. I do type a lot more than I write these days. They recommend using the friction pens and they do in fact work very well with this notebook. It comes with a 0.7mm friction pen and microfiber cloth to clean them and make sure you stick to the recommendations or use a similar type of pen. I decided to test with the standard ballpoint pen and as expected I couldn't get the ink to erase. Now when it comes to writing with the friction pen after 15 seconds have passed you can happily run your hands over your writing you can even scrub with a cloth and it will not come off or smudge as soon as you add water it wipes off easily and do not use the eraser on the end of the friction pen as this can actually damage the pages now when using this for work I did actually find it very useful and if I made a mistake I could simply lick my finger and rub it out not the most hygienic thing to do but handy if you're in a rush the great thing about the notebook though is you've got seven icons at the bottom of each page. The app has a destination section where you can predetermine what these icons do. For instance, you can have one set to email a certain email address, one for Dropbox or one for Google Drive, or you can even just have them all allocated to different folders in Google Drive. Of course, you can manually specify where you want them to go as well. There's also a page on the inside of the book where you can write down what you've allocated these symbols to. That makes it handy in case you forget. On the page you're writing on you simply put a cross over the symbol at the bottom of the page then when you scan it in using the application it will automatically send it there for you. I found this quite useful at work as I have quite a few regular meetings so I can set them up for certain folders then my notes for those meetings are already there when I scan them in so it makes it easier to find them later. In terms of the app functionality it works very well. It uses the phone camera to scan in the page and it always gives you a perfectly straight image. No matter what angle you're using for the phone you get the whole page in the picture and it will always give you a nice straight result. I also tried scanning the page in very low light. It did work and was perfectly readable but it wasn't as clear as one I did in normal lighting conditions so I'd always recommend waiting to scan in if you are in a very dark room. Now when it comes to the app it's nice and simple to use it only has the settings you need. One thing you can do as well is if you want the app to automatically put your title if you write the title on your page and put two hashtags at either side it will then pick it up and name that as the file name. In the settings we've got color enhancements you can change behavior for unmarked pages, icon sensitivity, you can change the resolution, change the focus mode and anti-banding I would recommend leaving that where it is. On top of that destinations is nice and easy, you've got the icons down the left hand side, you simply press on them and you can choose what that icon does. So you don't even need to be technically minded, it's super simple to set up. So overall I think this is a good product for students, professionals or anyone that likes to make a lot of notes and wants a real pen and paper paper fill rather than using a tablet. The cost of it is obviously more expensive than a standard notebook and it currently retails at £35 or $34 and this is for the A4 size notebook I have here. There's also another version, the Executive A5 and that's £33 or $32 and they've also provided me with a discount link for 10% off or you can use the code Top Tutorials 10 at checkout. If you go through a lot of notebooks or simply want your notes digitally stored in a few seconds then I definitely recommend taking a look at this but as always if you have any questions or if there's anything I've missed please just ask in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can but thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel.